We won the lottery! Woo! We're not in jail. Yeah, we didn't go fraud or anything to win the lottery. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> and you have to get weighed with your carry-on. Hopefully I will not be found lacking. Mm. Well, well, maybe not. We're not in the airplane. Wendy! Very. Uh, David got the call and um, the flight's been canceled due to weather. And never have I ever had a delayed flight due to a bear. Ooh, look at Wait, this isn't the lodge. This isn't the flight. All right, this is this is the airport. It's not even six o'clock in the morning yet. This is the airport take two. Yeah. And South why? Terminal. Why is it take two in a different terminal? Same city. Because yesterday the flight was canceled. Yeah. Yeah. That was exciting. So yeah, really. today we're trying it again. Yeah, so fortunately the, the tour company that we booked all this with got us on another flight. So they got us coming in really early, which I'm not happy about. Yeah, a day later. And then they also booked us on a later flight too. So we're gonna have to have more time with the bears. Yes, for one night. Just one night instead of the two. Yeah, so, all right, let's get checked in. I hate these things. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> I hope you know I retired from all of this. <laughs> this might actually be like a real plane. <laughs> well, anything that flies technically is a real plane. Yeah, but not like a five seater prop plane like what we were going to be on. That's so, true. yeah, this is like big time. Yeah, a line and everything. Yeah. Got our tickets to fly. Now I have something for my journal. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> with the, with the uh, other airplane, I didn't. <laughs> That's true. So, waiting on the flight. King Salmon on the flight. Get close. Yep, yep. So I guess about an hour flight time, roughly. It's pretty excited. Here we go. Step step one is we're on the plane. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right, this is King Salmon, Alaska. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. I think this will burn off though. It's a good flight. Baggage claim area. Dave's gonna go see where supposed to catch our next flight. Uh, well, we're off like a herd another step. <laughs> we're on a bus. Yes. Well, hello. I guess we're going to the float planes. <laughs> this is where we're going to catch a float plane. <coughs> At another little lodge terminal. 
so it's a multi-step process to be sure after the bus ride. So I'm gonna go check out when we're leaving. So what did you find out? Okay, so they've got two planes and they're going to be ferrying people back and forth. It's about an hour turnaround for them. He said, chill out, have some tea. They got the uh, cam going and they'll call our name. Then we'll head to uh, Brooks. So you are being measured again. We get off the plane. They are sending us to bear school. We do bear school, and the way I do this is I'm going to show you guys a 10 minute video. After the video, don't go anywhere because I'm going to come back and talk to you for another five minutes or so. Welcome to Brooks Camp in Katmai National Park and Preserve. So, what the heck is Brooks Camp? Brooks Camp is lodging in the middle of Katmai National Park. Katmai National Park, highest concentration of bears. Yay! <laughs> and that's why we're here. Brooks Lodge, there is no cell service, no TVs. You gotta enjoy the wilderness and the bears. It's got uh, 16 cabins. You can uh, house four people in each one. It's got a campground that's for tent camping. Mm -hmm an electric fence going all the way around the tent area. That's right. It was a hike. <laughs> but we wanted to see where the camping area was where a lot of people come in tent camp. So we'll see what this is all about. It's probably what a half mile from the lodge? Yeah, yeah. something like that. We didn't do the tent camping. <laughs> no. Our cabin number 22. Lucky 22. And uh, looks like the bears have used as a scratching post. Right. No bears are in here. That's good. Which mm. is good. This is really nice. Okay, well, I gotta put my stuff down and we'll give you guys a quick tour. Okay, I do have to put this on like wide <laughs> screen so everybody can see. Yeah. But there's four beds and they're bunks. But there's little comforters on them. Yeah. And blankets. Oh, those are heavy too. That's nice. Yeah. Coats. Coats and stuff. It looks like this is the bathroom, the bathroom door. Mm -hmm. And nice warm heater. View, maybe right. you'll see a bear. A little dusky area. Oh, that is cute. Look at the little moose and bears on there. <laughs> and a nice shower. shower. Wow. Okay. This is really nice. And then the Towels. bathing area. Yeah. Lens. Wow. wow. Flush soap, toilet. Soap, shampoo. I'm talking about the flush toilet, actually. <laughs> All right. So we're going to drop our stuff. It's, what, 11.30. We're yep. starving. And um, then we'll go out to the platform. Yeah. It's been a good morning. Mm -hmm. The lodge is pretty interesting. It's nice. Yeah. So it's not like wilderness lodge or anything, but... No. It's kind of cool because it's this one big huge cabin and when you walk in there's like this little bar over to the left and then what's really cool is they have this indoor campfire yeah. and so everyone hangs around the campfire and sits in the chairs and then just beyond that is the um, the, the restaurant or the, the cafeteria. It was kind of surprising. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the food. Oh my goodness. I mean you're out in the middle of the wilderness and they had 
really, really good food. It was a buffet. Uh, it's a one-time trip buffet. Yep. Really tasty, great service. The people there were phenomenal. I mean, just amazing. Yeah, yeah. they were really nice. And so a very unique uh, atmosphere. So is this awesome or what? We're in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. <laughs> Man, this is the wilderness. And we're having this delicious hot meal. I teriyaki know. chicken, pork fried rice, veggies, egg pork, rolls. Uh, egg rolls. Mm. Nice. And a salad. Salad too. We're getting beets. our veggies. Yummy. So we're sitting here having our dinner. It's fancy Friday. We had salmon, asparagus, butternut squash, and mom and three cubs went yeah. barreling down this sidewalk. Halfway, they don't have sidewalks, so that was, that was pretty cool. Really cool. We're here for uh, one night, mm -hmm. uh, two days, yeah, and uh, two we're nights. gonna, huh? Oh, one that's night. right. One night. That's right. <laughs> I have it in my head that you promised me two <laughs> nights. That's right. I I did, and I was gonna deliver on that promise, except as you know, the flight was canceled. That's right. <laughs> so Brooks Lodge requires a lottery to get into it. 18 months in advance, you put your name in. Initially, we were on the waiting list for like 400 and something. Yes. And then we got an email, and they said, "Yep." You're good to come, and we're like, oh. We're very fortunate. Matter of fact, that's sort of the basis for why we came up to Alaska this summer. Yeah. <laughs> but behind us is the boardwalk, and this is where you start your journey mm -hmm. to get to Brooks Falls, which really is Bears. here where most people Bears. come. <laughs> yeah. Some people come to fish, too. Yeah, but... Including the bears. Yes. Lots of bears. So let's uh, go check it out and everything and see what's uh, going on with the bears. All right, just down from the lodge is the walkway to the bear platforms. Oh, this is one of the uh, famous webcams. My goal is to video all the webcams. <laughs> So now we're leaving the safety of the uh, bridge. We're not supposed to use the ramp when there's bears on the ramp. Leaving the control environment. Yes, please keep off the ramp when the bears are present. No kidding. Miles, if you're watching, was that one of your vehicles right there? Enter at your own risk. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so there is a little trail that's out in the middle of bear country, unprotected. It's not... It's more like a road, I think. Yeah, it is. So like, are we, are we, is this the trail or is this right? Yeah, this is right. Okay. It's just a big trail, like a road. <laughs> so it's really not raining much. It's just, it's sort of spitting and Annoying. misting. Yeah, just a little bit here and there. It was sunny like 20 minutes ago. And then we came in, it was cloudy, but no rain, so it comes and goes out here. Yeah, I just wait like five minutes and the weather will be. Yeah, but it's uh, really lush, really pretty. And we're going to go to the uh, oh, falls platform. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. squirrel. <laughs> I'm not uh, videoing that. Squirrel. And we're gonna see if there's any bears, we uh, saw the cam this morning and there's a couple guys out there. See what's uh, happening, see if anyone's hungry today. So this it's a mile hike from the lodge to the main platform. Yes, uh-oh. What? We have a... Which, which way? I think we go to the right. That's my guess because that's by the river. Alright, so we've moved off the road and we actually found a trail and there's a sign. We saw a sign! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we've come to the Upper Falls viewing area. Yes. Because it says, please keep the gate closed. Yeah, so we're not sure if this is the Upper Falls viewing area or does this take you to like the lower and the upper? 
So on the boardwalk to Brooks Falls, you come to this waiting area and going straight takes you to the upper falls. Taking a right takes you to the less popular lower falls. But the views can be great at either one. All right, this is the famous Brooks Falls bear viewing platform and well there is a bear So in Katmai National Park, there's about 3,200 uh, brown coastal bears that reside in the park, a protected area. But here near Brooks Falls and Bristol Bay in this area where Brooks Lodge is, there's about 80 uh, bears that frequent this area like all the time, that, like are residents. Now, any of these bears can travel and get here. But generally speaking, it's these 80 that, that are here a lot. And from the catching of salmon in July to the fat bear contest in October, uh, these guys hang out here at the falls and enjoy the rich bounty of salmon that comes their way. bear wants to take what that other bear's got. Lower Falls viewpoint, and now there's one, two, three, four bears. We just had one come out right here and go around. But look what I found. I found another bear cam right here. So this is the view you get from that cam. And I think the cam just got the bear going down there. There's some anglers, and the bear took the guy's fish. Oh. All right, so that bear circled around and uh, came up behind these anglers here, and he's uh, just made off with their catch. So there's a group of them that are uh, anglers that are going across the water together trying to make uh, a bigger presence, and he is a little aggravated. So the other bear that was coming up the river, uh, he's up at the upper falls now, and he just came and just plopped right down in the middle of the water. So we're going back to check him out and see what he's up to.
That's what you call learned behavior. He stood up. So this guy right here is an opportunist. Every time one of these bears gets a fish, he kind of moves in just to see if he can uh, bully his way into a meal. another camera or at the bridge and it is facing upriver. What is that I hear? Is that a bird? Yeah. Splash around? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of those duck things. Slim down version of a duck. Oh, that plane's about to take off. Yeah. I've got like one or two more cameras to find, but here's one. And there is a bear over there.
Okay. Well, this is another first. We've had flight delays due to weather and mechanical issues. You name it. We've been flying for 30 years and never have I ever had a delayed flight due to a bear. We had to get off the beach, go up to the lodge, let the bear pass, and so now we're starting to board. We made it to King Salmon, and our next stop is Anchorage. Anchorage. And so I need a Diet Coke. I, I know, I know. <laughs> but only in Alaska can David get Hawaiian Sun products. That's right, and this is a new flavor. A new flavor. Strawberry Lily Koi. <laughs> yeah, I can't really get it in the lower 48. So no. we have to come all the way to Alaska to get Hawaiian Sun products. Once again, that Alaska Hawaii connection. Yeah. All right, the flight attendant just said to put your approved mobile devices on airplane mode. They haven't been off airplane mode in like two or three days. Our last leg before we get home. Yes. And then have to hit the ground running. <laughs> and then tomorrow we're hitting it hard. Oh my gosh. Hard. Yeah, I don't like deadlines though. This this is a serious deadline. If, Major. Yeah, so if we don't get to five, we've got two days. 500 miles. 500 miles before the border closes. Two days we got to cross the border. Yeah. Call me wide-eyed, simple-minded I've been blinded, I'm on a merry-go-round I got this fever, baby, going through my body I feel like shaking the ground mm -hmm. Call me lovesick, like I bother There's no other, I'd beg, borrow, and steal I wanna do right by you can't you see I'm hurting the way you make me feel? Oh, cause my heart breaks. Oh, baby, baby, please. I'm begging on my knees. Won't you listen? My hands shake a shiver down my spine. It happens every time. Can't you see that my heart takes? Tightrope, baby, step by step I wonder if only you'd understand Cause my heart breaks 